Oh, I, I think I caught athletes foot when I was about 11 years old. My dad had it, and mm -hmm. I think possibly they weren't scrubbing out the bathtub or something very well because I think that's how I caught it. And um, I've never been able to get rid of it. I've tried everything. I've been to doctors. Nothing has gotten rid of that fungus on my toenails. And, um, and I also have very dry skin on my feet. I get cracks and fissures in my feet, and that's very painful, especially in the winter time. Very, very painful. So I've just learned to kind of accept it and cope with it, not really having an understanding that there could be done, something done for it. Well, so what I've kind just, of things did you try? You tried, did you try the oral medications? I, I never tried oral medications. They did give me something called titanium or something like that. Does that make sense or no? Tagamet? No. Yes, that was it. Yes. No. no. That was the that was the stuff. Yeah. So, nothing helped. You know, I just, you know, it was just kind of frustrating. Well, you know, there are some new newer generation. I say newer because they came out when I started twenty five years ago. Okay. But um, some newer medications that, while it's not indicated, and they say you don't have to draw liver function tests, I still do, uh -huh. but I can count in 25 years, I can count on probably two hands the number of people where we've had to stop the medication. Okay. And so if that's something that you want to try, we could certainly do the blood test today. Okay. And then as soon as that comes back um, and shows that there's no problems, we can try you on it. Okay. And... Um, and if what's going on on the skin is just kind of a low-grade athlete's foot that's sure. been chronic mm -hmm. and has never gone away, then this the oral medication would help that as well. Okay. I, I, I would be happy to try that, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll get that started, too. Okay. And we have the before pictures already okay. that we took today. So okay. we'll be able to put those in your chart. And then you're not going to see really much of a change for at least three or four months. Okay. Because it's not going to change what's already out here. Right. It's going to affect the new nail that's being made. Okay. And that, I see. And okay. so you'll start to see that new nail coming out from under the cuticle okay. area. Okay. At about um, about uh, three to four months. Now, if I can just show you this toenail, this one actually started to come in normal. Mm hmm And I don't know why there's I don't know why it started to, but it just did. Hmm. You know. So I'm not sure why. Well, maybe your immune system is starting to take care of them one at a time. Okay. No, maybe I'm I don't know. I, okay. No. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone because oh, okay. it's not thick and it's not long. Sure. And I already got all the fungus all over my okay. nail clippers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the thick toenails, too, you have a hard time buying shoes. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of frustrating, you know. It's like, oh, I like these shoes, but I can't buy them because my toenails are so high. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll thin those out for you today yeah, as well. Yeah, that would be great. Now, is anybody else in your family? Both my parents had athlete's foot. None of the, I have uh, three siblings. Mm -hmm. None of them have it. How about in the nails? They in don't in have the, it? No. Okay. No, I'm the only one that got it, yeah. From what I understand, nails are just dead cells. Is that correct? Yeah, nail, nail material and um, hair. Okay. They're all. Oh. Um, they're just what we call skin appendages. Oh. Okay. So they're made by specialized skin cells. Okay. Yeah, and that's why there's no nerves or anything, and that's why this doesn't hurt. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So they're just specialized forms of skin. Okay. Okay. Do you 
suggest using like when you get out of the tub baby powder or anything like that to put in your shoes or? You may want to get like an athlete's foot powder. Okay. Especially in your shoes because even once you get it. They get sweaty from your feet. Right, but even yeah. if you get rid of it from the nail, oh, okay, um, it's still going to be in the shoe. Sure. And then you can get all reinfected oh, again. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Part of it too is I feel like today I'm being educated on my feet, you know, and that's been part of the frustration, not knowing, you know, but when you talk to professional, they really have the answers, you know. It gives you a lot of hope then, you know, that you keep your feet can change and you know, again. Yeah, now, you know, given that they've been this way most of your life, yeah. I'm not making any promises. Sure, I understand. But most people are at least better. Okay. So if I could even hope for better, that'd be a lot. You never know until you try it, right? That's right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, when you were a kid, the reason that they didn't use the antifungal medicine was because it was so toxic. Oh. And then around the early 90s, the new okay. generation came out. You can just relax. Okay. Okay, so the drugs are actually better now then. Okay. Do you feel like kids with that food for Athlete's foot, yes. From the oh, nails, no. Sure. Okay. Well, because they're always walking around the gym. Yeah. Or yeah. the locker rooms. Uh huh. And the sports are year round. Okay. Do you think some patients are more susceptible to it because of their immune system? Yes. You do. Okay. okay. That's what I'm thinking too. Because I tend to always be a little bit anemic. Just right time 11 and you know what it's 12 to 15. And so I've always been about 11 so I, I think my immune system has always been a little bit on the lower side. feel so much better, like my toenails are lighter or something. <laughs> oh, great. All right, so that one, I forgot yeah. and did the, yeah, okay. did the drill on there, but okay. yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to, um, no, I'm not going to do one of those. And that's the Lubriderm cream? Yes. That feels really good. I don't think I've ever even used that. Yeah. Mm -hmm.